Hey everyone, uh, welcome to finding an exponential function given its graph. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, one is easier than another, but let's go ahead and look at our example. So um, go, I've gone ahead and drawn our function. It says the graph of y equals ab to the x, where b is greater than 0, passes through the points negative 1, 9, and 1, comma 1. Write an equation for the function. Now there's two ways you can try to do this. And the easy way is if you have the y-intercept, okay? So um, let's look at our graph here. And I kind of missed the graph there. I went by twos. Uh, the y-intercept is 0, 3 here, okay? So I've got three points. I've got negative 1, 9. I've got 1, 1. And I've got 0, 3. So that's going to be key. Now they're talking about the equation y equals ab to the x. And so what you have to do is substitute. We need to find the a value and we need to find the b. Well, the key is to start with the intercept. We know that y equals 3 if x is 0. So I go ahead and here's my substitution. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so I have 3 equals a. All right? So now my equation becomes y equals... 3 times b to the x. So I need another point on that graph. I have 1, 1 and negative 1, 9. Let's stick with 1, 1. So when y is 1, x is 1. So b to the first. So I have 1 equals 3b. That means b equals 1 third when I divide each side by 3. So the equation that represents that graph, okay, that exponential decay, because it's is going to be y equals 3 times 1 third to the x power. Okay, so that's how we can decide and find a graph of an exponential from a table. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, and we'll see you next time.